Hello, second grade distance learners. This is Mr. Vinzant, your art teacher here at Mason. I've posted our new lesson online, and we um, I've attached a video that we're going to be watching here at school all about sea turtles. That'll be the first part of this lesson, is watching the video and learning about the life of a sea turtle. It's actually very interesting. The second part is we are going to make our own sea turtle using construction paper. Now, if you don't have construction paper at home, you can improvise with any type of paper you have available. Now, what I've done here at school is we actually, I made tracing pieces for the turtle shell, the head, and flippers out of thick um, poster board. And we're tracing those pieces onto a different color construction paper to assemble our turtles on a piece of paper. Now, I realize at home you don't have these tracing pieces, so any way that you can make a turtle shell and head and flippers will suffice. So it'll, it'll work just fine. But I'm going to show you how we're going to do this here, just to give you an idea. The first thing we do is we put the shell on a piece of construction paper, and I'm going to trace carefully around. And then after I trace the shell, I'm going to cut the shell out of this piece of paper. Now I'm going to be cutting very quickly here, just so I'm not taking too much of your time. I'm going to cut all the way around. This is a fun lesson because we're making Caribbean sea turtles and using a lot of different colors. We'll be decorating the shell later on using different colored pieces of paper to make patterns that are all cut out of paper. Um, and then we'll be painting around the turtle. We'll study contour lines. This is a pretty big lesson. There's a lot of parts and pieces to it. Now, here's my turtle shell. And what I'm going to do is we will glue this to a larger piece of paper. I have to put it sideways, though, because it won't fit on the camera any other way. So we'll put glue on the back of the shell and glue the shell down to the paper like this. Now. I'm going to use another piece of paper, and the turtle should have four flippers. So here's a neat little trick. If you fold your paper over once, very neatly, line the corners up, we will have two pieces of paper stacked up. If I fold it over one more time, I'll have one, two, three, four pieces of paper. Now, I did this because we need four flippers, and I didn't want to have to cut four flippers out four different times. So I'm just going to trace my flipper right here, and if I did this right, all I have to do is cut one flipper out, and I'll have four flippers that are all exactly the same. Just saves a little time. Let's see if it worked. I'm going to go ahead, get my scissors, and I'm going to hold my papers together as I cut. Now, this paper's thicker because there's four pieces stacked up, so I'm having to open the scissors and take small bites using the back part of the scissors. That's where the scissors are the strongest and can chew through thick papers that are all stacked up here. So I'm just going to turn my scissors and turn the paper carefully, making sure I'm cutting away from my hand. I'm going to turn my scissors here and cut here. Let's see if this worked. There's one flipper. I'm just going to tuck it under the shell and glue it down. There's two. Here's three. And here is four. All right, so far so good. Now I'm going to open the paper up since I only need one head, and I'm going to use my tracing piece to trace the head. Now I'll cut the head out. And at home, if you don't have these tracing pieces, which you don't have our same tracing pieces, you can just draw a head and the turtle shell however you like. But you do want the turtle shell and flippers to fill up the paper you're using. You want it to be nice and big. You don't want to make it too small. So here's my head. Whoops. This is what happens when you don't use glue. Alright, I'll put all that back together. The head goes right up here. Now the only thing I'm missing is a little tail, and the tail is really easy. It's just a quick little snip with your scissors to make a triangle. So I'm going to turn my scissors this direction and cut it at an angle. Then I'm going to turn the other direction and cut the opposite way. And that'll make the perfect little triangle to go down here for my tail. All right. That is the first step of our sea turtle lesson, watching the video as well as making our turtle. If you have any questions, feel free to email me. And the next part of this lesson, I'll show you the next steps. All right. Take care, manatees. Talk to you soon.